This video is going to show you how to get Dawnbreaker, one of the coolest looking weapons in Skyrim, and it is also one of the most useful, unique weapons that you can get in Skyrim. Dawnbreaker has two different enchantments. The first being that with each hit, you will deal fire damage. Fire damage will range from 10 to 15 points per hit, and that depends on the augmented flames perk, which you will find in the destruction skill tree. And then the other enchantment on Dawnbreaker, which makes it a really great weapon, is when killing undead, you have a chance to cause a fiery explosion that turns or destroys nearby undead. It's a great weapon when fighting Draugr and vampires. And you'll see here the fiery explosion. You're going to come across a lot of Draugr, and a lot of the times there's a bunch of them and they bunch up. So you see here, I just killed that Draugr, the explosion went. And the other two Draugr, they got hit by the explosion's blast radius, and now they are fleeing from battle. It's great when you're taking on a bunch of Draugr, you kill one, the blast goes, and then some start to flee, freeing you up to maybe take on only one Draugr, and then giving you a chance to recover. If you do decide to become a vampire in the game, the resulting explosion from Dawnbreaker will affect you. So if you're low health and that explosion goes, you can kill yourself. If you have the companion Serana, which is one of the best companions in the game, Dawnbreaker will affect her. But for dungeon boss fights, they're always accompanied by a bunch of undead. You can clear out some undead and freeing you up to take on the boss one on one. So how do you go about getting Dawnbreaker? You will get Dawnbreaker as a reward for completing the quest, The Break of Dawn. This quest becomes available to you after your character reaches level 12. You can start the quest two different ways. Once you hit level 12 and you're exploring Skyrim going through dungeons, there is a random opportunity to find Marita's beacon when looting chests. If you have not stumbled upon Marita's beacon yet, all you have to do is simply go to Marita's statue. Marita's statue is just to the west of Solitude. It's not that far at all. Give you another idea. Markarth is down here to our southwest. So the statue is up to the northern east. And then White Run basically in the middle of the map. Just to give you an idea of where it's at. If you don't already have Marita's beacon, like I said, you will need to go and visit her statue. Upon visiting the statue, she will then tell you that she wants you to go and retrieve her beacon and bring it back to her. That will place a marker on your map. It will be a random location. You will have to clear out that area. You will then loot a chest and you will retrieve Marita's beacon. And then you will bring it back to her statue, which is what we're doing right now. To the left of her statue, so her statue is right up there, there is a word wall right up here. It's pretty easy to miss if you're not paying attention. And this is for the Elemental Fury Shout. So make sure to pick this up. Then we're going to head over to the statue. We're going to place Marita's beacon. And then she's going to suck you up into the sky. Give you a great view of Skyrim. And then she's going to tell you how her temple, which is below us, is being plagued by the darkness. The darkness is a necromancer that you will have to take out. And you are going to be guiding Marita's light through her temple, opening up doors as we go. I'm sure everybody already loots everything, but make sure to definitely loot every body on this quest because each body is going to have a ton of gold. You can get between 3,000 and 5,000 gold going through this dungeon. You will then come to a room where you'll be able to activate a pedestal. This is going to allow Marita's light to continue on. It's going to go up to the next orb there and open up the door so you can continue on. You will be doing this multiple times throughout this dungeon. You will then come to another room with another pedestal, but this time there will be some enemies around, some corrupted shades. They're not too difficult and not too overwhelming. Once you take them out, simply activate the next pedestal. Marita's light will continue on and you will head through that door right here to our right. After battling through more Corrupted Shades, you will come to a bigger area with a few enemies and you need to make your way up to this next pedestal. Once we activate it, we will be able to head through that door right in front of us. You saw it just open. You will have to do that little jump over that little tiny gap. And then this next door will take us outside. Once outside, simply hang a left. Make sure to grab this chest at the bottom of the steps. After doing that, head on up and then we are heading back into the ruins. Once back inside, you will head to a large area. There will be a couple corrupted shades that you will need to take out. Again, there will be some dead bodies around with a ton of gold on them, so make sure to loot those bodies. 
We are going to need to make our way up. So activate this pedestal. It will open up the door right behind us. You make your way through a couple hallways. You will come to this lever. Activate that. And now we will head through the little iron cage area here. Just checking to make sure I don't miss any gold, any bodies. We're going to head through here. There will be a beacon on our left that we need to activate. You will have to do a little jump. It's not too far of a gap. Once activating the pedestal, that beam and that door right there will open. We will need to hop back. There is a corrupted shade right here. Once you take that guy out, there is another jump that you will have to make. Again, another small gap. Again, making sure to loot everything. There is a body over here to my right, and there is also a skill book on the bookshelf behind us that will increase your block. Once you're done looting this little area and getting the skill book, turn back around, head back through the door. We will make our way to another area where again you will have to battle a couple corrupted shades. After taking them out, make sure to loot the area. There are some dead bodies by these steps we're going up right now. Make sure to loot those. They have a ton of gold on them. Once you make it around the corner, you will come up to the last pedestal in this area. Once we activate this last pedestal, that door right there will open and that is where we're heading. Be careful jumping down. I would suggest doing a quick save before you continue on just in case you do die when battling the Necromancer. You will first come to a room before the boss fight. Again, make sure to loot corpses. This guy had 125 gold on him. Again, make sure to loot all the corpses. You're going to get a ton of gold. We'll activate this pedestal. That will open up these wooden doors. And now we are on to face the Necromancer and his corrupted shades. You will then come to Malkrin and you will see him kind of, I don't know, praying in front of a shrine, in front of Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker's up there. You can see the light beaming to Dawnbreaker. And there is a ton of corrupted shades in here, so be prepared. Again, I would save your game just in case you die. After taking out all the shades, you've defeated Malkrin. You see all these dead bodies on the ground. Make sure to loot every single one of these bodies before going and grabbing Dawnbreaker. Upon grabbing Dawnbreaker, you will get teleported out of the temple and you will not be able to get back into this room. So make sure to loot all the bodies. There are a ton of them in here. Once you loot all the bodies, activate the pedestal, you will get Dawnbreaker added, and then Merida will bring you back out to the sky above the temple. And that's it, guys. That's how you get Dawnbreaker. Great weapon to have, like I said. Good against the undead. Vampires, Draugr. You're going to be coming across a ton of Draugr throughout your playtime in Skyrim. Very easy quest. Very short quest for a great weapon. Hopefully this video was helpful. Have a good one. See ya.